All right, here is a guide on infusion and mods. Whenever you're in your character screen, press triangle for your weapons or armor piece, doesn't matter. And here you see a couple of options. I am now currently in weapon mods section and here you can infuse or change your weapon mods. Currently I have solar damage mod equipped. If I want to equip another one, I will destroy the one that I have already in the process. And I will also have to pay some glimmer for that as well. It's that simple really, if you have the mod you can equip it that way. Infusion is slightly bit more complicated. Infusion means that you can raise the power level of your item. But in order to do so, you need to have an item of any rarity that has base power level higher than the item that you want to upgrade. Now, depending on the rarity of the item that you're using for an upgrade, uh, the cost goes up. If you're going to infuse purple item with purple item, you will only pay one legendary shard and 500 glimmer. If you want to infuse purple item with blue item, then you will pay four legendary shards and more glimmer. Actually, I'm not sure I forgot what's the amount of glimmer, but that's not relevant. What's relevant are the legendary shards. You're going to pay four legendary shards if you want to use rare item, which is a blue one, to upgrade your purple one. Obviously, your item that you want to upgrade needs to be of lower base power level. You cannot upgrade an item that has higher power level with the item that has lower power level. That's impossible. Without saying, that process also destroys the weapon that you're using in infusion process. As for the armor pieces, the same thing applies with one other option and that are shaders. You can change the color of your weapon. What I'm talking about are the mods and infusion. It's the same process as with weapons. If you want to infuse, you need to have higher item that is not equipped currently in your inventory and that way you can use it in the infusion process to raise the power level of the item that you have equipped at the moment. The same thing goes for mods, you can equip them as you want in mod slot. Now let's talk about getting mods, crafting them, dismantling and whatnot. Go into your inventory section and here there is a subsection called modifications. Here you can see all the mods that you have. If you dismantle a blue mod, you will receive only glimmer. If you dismantle a purple mod, you will receive mod component. In order to get new mods randomly from gunsmith, you need two mod components and some glimmer. When you have two mod components, go back to gunsmith. And here is the second section called gear mods. You can get randomly armor mod or weapon mod, depending what you want if you have two mod components and thousand glimmer or if you want only purple ones you can get purple ones by 2500 glimmer per piece now the cool thing about the game is this option exchange gear mods this means that you can have three of the same types of blue mods and upgrade them to purple mods but in order to do so, you need to have power 280 and finish campaign. You can see the amount of blue mods that you need and how many you have in the description when you're trying to upgrade the mods. To recap, you're gonna need three blue mods that are of the same type and then you can upgrade them in exchange gear mods option at the gunsmith. There you go. This is all that you need to know about infusion and mods. Don't forget to check the description for secrets of the universe and meaning of life. And see you guys soon.